Do you want to know how to turn this into this? Stay tuned. This is the Ruger 1022 chassis from Gungner Inc. Uh, we've had it for quite a while now and uh, we've been trying to test it as much as possible, do some durability tests to see how uh, strong this is. And uh, so far we have not been able to break it and we haven't really been super nice to it. So it has passed all the tests so far. Um, but let's go ahead and go over all the stuff that we found about this gun. All right, to start off, this is made of a polymer, so it is not very heavy. Um, and that was the one thing that we worried about at first was durability with being a polymer, but it is a very durable uh, chassis. Now, if you're worried about gaining weight when you're putting a chassis like this onto your Ruger 2022, uh, don't worry about that because it is very lightweight. And most likely when you switch over, you're probably going to be losing weight to your gun, which is nice because once you put this on, you're going to want to put accessories onto it and uh, mod it up quite a bit. So that's going to add some weight. But uh, the chassis itself is very light. Uh, the first thing that we thought that was going to break on this was going to be the buffer tube. Uh, this is the one thing I still worry about. Uh, it's quite thin and it is hollow. So in your normal Air 15, you've got a metal buffer tube and whatnot, and it's quite durable. And uh, for the fact that it just sticks out this far, and if you're fully extended, um, that's something that I can see breaking eventually. So as long as you're not chucking this around and uh, beating it up too hard, uh, we haven't had any issues, but that's the one part I can see breaking. Now, a really fun part about this gun is the fact that it is so customizable. Uh, it's just like an Air 15. You can switch over your foregrips and put it down to this. You can get your flashlights and uh, your cloud defensive setup and put it on here. There's the key mod rail so you can put uh, Picatinny rails on the side here or you can get stuff that are compatible for that. And then as well with your stocks, if you like Mission First Tactical stocks, Magpul, you can put everything over. This isn't the stock that comes with it. It just comes with uh, the buffer tubes. You can put any stock that you want and it's just like you would any other stock. Uh, you pull down on this lever and you slide it off and you put in your new stock. So that's really cool. And then just like anything else, the grip comes off as well. So we went with this grip because it's something we had left over on one of the builds. So we threw this one on, but you can put a Venom Defense grip, anything like that, Magpul, Mission First Tactical style grips on this as well. Um, it's all compatible. Just like uh, your normal R15, you have the bolt right there. It's the same with this. Now what I personally really like about this is if you have a child or a person that's never shot before and uh, you want to start them out on something, this is the perfect gun in my mind to start them out with because it has that styling of an AR-15 which eventually I would want them to bump up to but it doesn't have quite the power and it's not quite as scary and it's a lot easier to control. So for my children when they get old enough this is going to be the first gun they use just for the fact that um, eventually I want them to be using AR-15s, but uh, I want them to get used to the style and the attachments that a gun like this would have. And this would be perfect for them to start out with. Lightweight and uh, plus ammo is very cheap, so you can go out and plink with this and not worry about spending a ton of ammo. And uh, it's just a really fun gun to play around with. Putting this together was very easy. It took us about 15 minutes. So as long as you have a common knowledge on how to put together and assemble your Ruger 1022, you're not going to have an issue with this. The hardest part was getting the barrel in and uh, making sure that all was aligned correctly. But you have this piece here inside, if you can see that, a U-bolt that your barrel lays into so it stays right in the middle. And then all of the bolts are very durable, so you're not going to have any issue. There's no plastic bolts or anything like that. So the parts that are really important are going to be durable and not have any issues. This is a product you guys would be interested in. Make sure you guys go check out Gungner Inc. I'm going to put a link to their website in the description. Now, price-wise, this is only running you $50 on their website. So for something like this, the price is very affordable. Uh, if you're looking at customizing your Ruger anyway, uh, this is a very good price for something like this.
Make sure you guys also check out War Dogs. They are an upcoming company that are making some really cool products. Uh, we're gonna be getting our hands on their stuff here soon. So make sure you guys check out their website. I'll put a link to their website in the description. Also make sure you guys check out our Instagram. Uh, we are finishing up our 300 Blackout, which is the Aries project. Um, this is an absolutely awesome build that we've been working on. So make sure you guys go check that out. Um, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and that really helps us a ton. Like, comment as well. And then make sure you guys check out our sponsor, USA Gun Bunker, and give him a follow as well. Thank you guys.